The 1990s was an incredible decade dominated by denim and weird catchphrases, as well as some of the greatest shows from Clarissa Explains It All to Blossom to Sabrina the Teenage Witch to Saved by the Bell, of course. It was filled to the brim with iconic 90s stars, however, whatever happened to them? That's what I want to know, and many other fans want to too. So today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 90s stars. Where are they now? Let's jump in. Coming in at number 10, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Ah, Tiffany Thiessen, my number one crush growing up in the 90s and 2000s. Thiessen starred in Say by the Bell as Kelly Kapowski for over 75 episodes. She then went on to appear in the college years as well as Say by the Bell Wedding in Las Vegas. However, my favourite role has to be Tiffany Thiessen in Beverly Hills 90210, where she played Valerie Malone. Oh boy. Hottie. <laughs> My ultimate crush. She has had a relatively successful career appearing in Two Guys, A Girl, and a Pizza Place, Fast Lane, Good Morning Miami, and as of right now, Alex and Katie, a Netflix original comedy. Personally, I'm patiently waiting for a new 90210, which is just about Valerie Malone and how she was clearly the best character in the entire series. Okay, bye. Coming in at 9, Joey Lawrence. Joey Lawrence was a Hollywood heartthrob back in the 90s. Sorry and Blossom on the greatest shows of all time, Brotherly Love and Run of the House from 2003 to 2004. He has always been around, but fans have slowly started to fall off his wagon over time, simply because he shed his gorgeous locks. Nothing wrong with that, there could be many reasons. It's hard when an actor is known for their hair, and that identifiable trait is now gone. In recent years, he starred alongside Melissa Joan Hart on ABC's Melissa and Joey, and is also part of the controversial Roe vs Wade cast. He also placed third on Dancing with the Stars and debuted on Broadway as Billy Flynn in Chicago. Good for you. Coming in at 8, Kel Mitchell. Most will remember Kel from the show Keenan and Kel, which ran from 1992 to 2000, making it one of Kel's first acting projects aside from the TV show All That. Following the success of Keenan and Kel, he continued acting but transitioned more into voice acting, starring in Clifford the Big Red Dog and Pink Panther and Pals. During this time, reports began to surface that he had died, however, Mitchell is alive and well. The comedic actor has landed reoccurring roles on several small series, including Game Shakers. He also brought back the popular character Ed to interview players and report for Nickelodeon Sports at the 2017 Super Bowl Media Day. Who loves orange soda? Coming in at number 7, Nate Rickett. At one point in time, Nate Rickett was a Hollywood heartthrob, thanks to his role of Harvey Kinkle in the widely popular Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Aside from Sabrina, he appeared in very few projects and instead left the field of acting to pursue music instead. Probably for the best, he wasn't the greatest actor. The former actor plays the drums, guitar, banjo, harmonica, and is in a band called C Duck and Nate. If you want to check out some of his music, he released an album back in 2004 titled Tone Control. And as of 2012, he often plays at the piano bar on Selma in Hollywood in Los Angeles. However, if you saw Nate Rickett today, you likely wouldn't even recognize him, with the former star looking a whole lot different to when he played Harvey. He has much less hair and a very cool mustache. Coming in at six, Omri Katz. Katz was a highly sought after actor back in the 90s, appearing in works such as Dallas, Erie, Indiana, Hocus Pocus, and The John LaRoquette Show. However, as soon as the millennium rolled in, he disappeared completely, leaving some fans shocked at his quick and mysterious departure. Well, I found out what went down. Turns out he's taken to a new occupation, specifically professional hairstyling. Good to know. If you want to find him, head to LA for a new haircut, and perhaps you'll luck out and get Max from Hocus Pocus cutting your locks. Blessed. In at 5, Mark Paul Gosseler. I think that's how you say his last name. I remember growing up back in the 90s, being a massive fan of Saved by the Bell, only for my sister to tell me Zach Morris was dead in real life and had died in a jeep accident. I believed this for most of my life, honestly, until a few years ago when I finally saw him once again in NYPD Blue. Anyway, back in the 90s, Mark appeared in Saved by the Bell from 1989 to 92. Saved by the Bell, The College Years, as well as St. Tammany Miracle. However, his role as Zach Morris was arguably his most successful. Mark reappeared though a few years back, starring in NYPD Blue, before going on to star in Raising the Bar, Franklin and Bash, and The Passage. He is very much alive, and I will never forgive my sister for what she did to me. In at 4, Mara Wilson. Mara Wilson seemed to be all over our screens throughout almost all of the 90s, starring in movies like Mrs. Doubtfire, Matilda, and my personal favourite, A Simple Wish. However, as soon as the millennium hit, she seemed to disappear completely as well, citing a lack of creative freedom. Since that time, she has become 
become a writer having written an off Broadway play as well as a book about her life. She has also dabbled in some voice acting which fans of Welcome to Night Vale will be familiar with as she voices one of the characters in the quirky Twilight Zone podcast. She has since appeared sparingly in a handful of projects including Big Hero 6 the series, Bojack Horseman and an episode of Broad City, however I highly doubt she will ever make a full return to acting. If you want to see what she's up to just head over to Twitter, she is very funny. Coming in at 3 Melissa Joan Hart Yet another Sabrina star on our list, we have Sabrina the Teenage Witch herself. Melissa Joan Hart was who all young girls desired to be back in the 90s, starring in works such as Clarissa Explains It All, Sabrina and Drive Me Crazy. In between, she starred in a handful of one-off episodes for hugely popular shows including Boy Meets World, where she played her character of Sabrina. The actress has continued to work and has had a thriving career, appearing in Melissa and Joey, No Good Nick and even in the upcoming untitled Clarissa Explains It All reboot. Outside of acting, Melissa also directed the TV movie The Watcher in the Woods for Lifetime back in 2017 and as of right now is the mother of three and a spokesperson for Nutrisystem. In at number 2, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes was perhaps one of my favourite actresses when I was growing up, with the star appearing in some of my most beloved childhood shows, including The Amanda Show and all that. Outside of TV, she also went on to star in movies such as Big Fat Liar, What a Girl Wants, She's the Man, Hairspray and Easy A, which was the star's final movie. Amanda was propelled into superstardom at such a young age that it took a toll on her mental health, resulting in the star having a very public breakdown and seeking treatment for her health issues. She resurfaced in 2018, looking healthier and happier, stating that she is ready to relaunch her career. I for one cannot wait. And finally coming in at number 1, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. JTT was the heartthrob we all knew and loved back in the 90s, starring in The Lion King, Pinocchio and of course everyone's favourite sitcom, Home Improvement. However, after immense success and fame, it was a surprise to all fans when JTT quit acting following the 90s and instead threw himself into academics. Nerd. Even getting into Harvard and then studying abroad in Scotland, in turn keeping his head in the books for almost 10 years. He has been on our screens here and there, appearing on a handful of episodes of 8 Simple Rules in 2004 and Last Man Standing from 2013 to 2015. However, that was the last time we saw JTT on our screens, with the former actor now focusing on writing and directing instead. He is now 38 years old and I'm desperately hoping he makes a return to our screen soon. Not because he's any good, just because he's hot. Well, there we have it. You guys have with that list, were there any 90s stars that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part 2. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another beyond the screen bit. And until next time, see you later. You know that Chris? Kel loves orange soda. Good burger. Can I take your order please? <laughs>